What is up, you guys? It's Bulletin98, and we have tons to talk about only about zombies. This video is completely about zombies, so stay tuned for much zombie content, and let's get right into it. Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and jump ahead straight forward into our pre-order packages. Yes, yeah, so this is before. If you want to get Modern Warfare 3 to play these zombies, this is what you need to do. To get the full game, you just have to pre-order either one, or just buy either one at time of release. However, you do pre-order the standard edition, you get early access to the bundle, the campaign a week early, and the soap operator pack. If you're feeling risky and want to get the vault operate the vault pack when pre-ordering, you'll get all the four that I just named, plus a nemesis operator pack, two weapon vaults, and a black cell bundle with 30 additional tier skips. Now, I don't know if this black cell bundle will only be for the first season of Modern Warfare 3, or if it will actually be, like, if you pre-order now, you go ahead and get black cell for this season. I'm not sure how that works, so don't quote me. However, if you do get Black Cell or you do pre-order, let me know down below if you got Black Cell for this one or if it saved it. But now we get our first confirmation ever from Call of Duty that Zombies is for sure coming in the form of a picture. We got our first image. So this is like a mini boss. However, if you look deeper into the image on the bottom right, I blew this picture up for you. It's about to pop up here. But if you look, you can see another zombie. These zombies don't seem to be our normal Nazi zombies. This is, looks like a woman zombie who obviously is in a normal uh clothing but not in like a military form you can also see that it looks like the map around us is a, is not any sort of old military it looks like a normal thing so our normal nazi zombie that we're used to fighting as like in vanguard or any of the treyarch games and if you also look in the map it does look in the background that we won't be in a ward base like it looks like we're gonna be more out in the open and we kind of already talked about this a little bit. Uh, if you guys have watched our past videos about the appropriate of DMZ taking zombies or zombies taking over DMZ, that is sort of is what I think we have happening here. As we get into more of an in-depth depth of what Call of Duty says the zombies is about, uh, because we do have that. Um, it seems like they are going for a more more mission based zombies as they say for the first time team up with other squads to survive and fight the mass hordes of the undead in the largest Call of Duty zombie map ever. Modern Warfare Zombies tells a new Treyarch zombie story with missions, core zombie features, and secrets to discover. Meaning Treyarch is discovering our zombie story mode, obviously they do the best zombies, and it's going to have missions so we no longer just run around brain dead. Uh, we also see that the new zombie mode for Modern Warfare 3 isn't as bad as it sounds like because most people whenever they hear Outbreak mode They think of our last Vanguard edition, but no it seems like this is literally just gonna be DMZ with zombies So no more dropping into a world and losing your loot to Enemies no now you can team up with those enemies or future friends and beat these guys also this mode seems it's going to be a lot more like the extinction mode in ghost i don't know why but this is just really came to me lately um after reading all this missions and stuff like that that it does seem like we are going to get into a more extinction mode from ghost than anything we've ever seen in treyarch basically we can confirm that Modern Warfare 3 Zombie is basically DMZ plus Outbreak. You get PvE only, played on the new War Zone map, 4 player squads up to 24 players total, buy stations, ammo depots, wall buys, mystery boxes, pack a punch, exfil with rewards, and you get cinematic story part of Treyarch's zombie storyline. Meaning, they might be bringing a whole new storyline, also meaning that they're going to have cinematics. You no longer have to complete Easter egg to get these cin cinematics. You just do the actual missions that they are putting within DMZ slash zombies. And this can only mean one thing. That this zombies from Modern Warfare 3 might play into the next Treyarch game we get. Yes. So the next Treyarch zombies game we get could go hand in hand with this DMZ zombies we're getting in Modern Warfare 3. Meaning for so much more content. Meaning for so much more of a longer storyline with zombies. Because you know we had... I think the longest storyline we've had with zombies with was with uh, Rick Toffin, Tank Dempsey, and all those guys, you know, kind of like running around, and we had to complete Easter eggs to even get their story mode or listen in-game. Now, we are actually going to be completing missions to get, you know, to see that, and it will be a less hectic process and more of a um, easier and, like, lined out for you. Like, do this to get to this cutscene. No more watching YouTube videos to figure out how to do an Easter egg that is, like, 100% 
or 90% luck on some things. So this way, I think you guys will have a lot more fun. I know I will. I love playing zombies now with this new feature that they got and everything. And I hope the story mode does go with Treyarch. And I just hope that everything, you know, lines up and as good as it sounds. Let me know down below, though, what you guys think of this new zombies mode. Are you excited? Are you upset? Or does this maybe help you feel safer about it? Because I know when we first talked about Outbreak, a lot of people on the channel liked it and a lot of people didn't a lot of people were really upset about the outbreak thing they didn't like it from vanguard and so they were worried but let me know what you guys think down below thank you for all the support and i'll see you in the next one peace